First up in our live Cowboys Q&A, Christopher Lowe. Can you trade Dak on the franchise? I think he means hypothetical. What about Demarcus Lawrence? Uh, never liked his performance for, for that price. I mean, we'll have to disagree in terms of the, the price for Demarcus Lawrence. I, he's going to have a bounce back year in terms of raw sack production. He still played really well. His contract is structured in such a way, though, that it really doesn't make sense to, to trade him. If you trade away Demarcus Lawrence, you eat so much dead money that it only makes sense if you're tanking, which the Cowboys aren't doing. As for Dak, you can trade players on the franchise tag after they sign the franchise tag. Guess what Dak's not going to do? Sign the tag until he gets a long-term deal or until he absolutely has to. Doesn't make sense for him to do it, so that's not going to happen. If you were to trade Pollard to the Rams, what, uh, what would you want back? Do you think this is a good idea? Eh? I don't know. Um, second or a third would be nice, I guess. And I, I guess I don't hate it, but I'm not convinced the Rams. The Rams also don't have any draft picks, so I don't really think you're going to see the Rams trade for a back. Pam Veely. Uh, we have another question coming up here. Uh, will Matthews re Clay Matthews reunite with McCarthy for cheap and thoughts on linebackers going into the season? So, if you go with the... Uh, in terms of the fit for Clay Matthews, he's a pass rusher. So, he's, he's not going to be an outside linebacker for you. Maybe he'll play some 4-3 Sam, but he's going to get after the quarterback. So, I have some interest there. I do. What's the cost look like? I know we put up some sack production. I'm not sure how great he was this past year, but and I think originally maybe I was a little too like dismissive, but I think it, I think it does make some sense actually for Clay Matthews. As for the linebackers, you got Jalen Smith. I think Leighton Vanish is progressing. You brought back Sean Lee. You need depth, like late round draft pick depth and special teamers. That's what you need. By the way, there was a super chat from Saeed Uda. Thank you very much. There was no question with it, but that was a dollar super chat. So, Saeed, thank you very much for that. Akil, if Fulton and Brown are there at 17, who are you taking? I'm taking the better player. I'm taking Derek Brown. I have, I have long wanted a 330-pound-plus defensive lineman who can actually pressure the quarterback. That's Derek Brown. I do believe there is a path as slim as it is to getting Derrick Brown at number 17 overall. I, I do believe that is a possibility. I, I'm not calling it a likely possibility, but I believe it is one. So who would you rather take, Brown or Fulton? I like Christian Fulton. Don't, don't get me wrong on that one. But I do like Derrick Brown. I do like Fulton. I like Derrick Brown a whole lot more. All right, Martin Herrera, will the Cowboys get Eric Berry? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, it's possible. They, did, they, they brought him in for a, a visit last year medically, but Eric Berry will not sign anywhere until he is checked out medically. He, that's going to be tough to do right now in, in the world. That's just the, the reality of this whole situation. So, sure, maybe... I'm also not banking on injury prone. He hasn't played really in two years. Eric Berry being the, the answer. All right, Damian Alvarez. I also want to shout out Alex uh, Villegas, who follows me on Twitter. I know that. I, I know you do there, Alex. Who just sent in a, a super chat with no question. Thank you very much. Damian Alvarez asks about Shaquille Barrett. The Bucks franchise tagged him. You're not going to get him. Like, I, I look, if you watched our show this time last year, you guys know I really wanted Shaq Barrett. Now, it worked out fine. You, you got Robert Quinn. It, it, it's, it's, it's all been good in the end. You're just not going to be able to acquire Shaq Barrett. The Bucs are not going to let him leave because they're trying to win games with Tom Brady at the helm. So, I, lo I love Shaq Barrett, but I'm sorry, guys. You're just not going to find a way to get that one in. Now, you see there at the bottom of your screen, Sean Payton. Just a quick little note here. He has been diagnosed with what we're going to call the Big C because YouTube doesn't like it when we call it the actual name. But that is some news that, that came across the NFL wire like, I don't know, a half hour ago, not even, maybe 10 minutes ago, something like that. He does have the Big C. You guys know what we're talking about, but YouTube doesn't like us to say it because it's too sensitive, but it is kind of a big deal. 
All right, Adam J. Any updates on snacks right now? Uh, you know, I, I, uh, I got, I, I got, I got peanut butter right here. Oh, you mean damn snacks, Harrison? Peanut butter's my favorite snack. Uh, nothing new yet. It's been kind of quiet on his front. I wonder if there's some medical stuff that could be an issue for Damon. That's really why he's not going forward. All right, we're going to some more live Q&A here. Coming up next on the show is Mr. Payne, 522. Will M. Bennett be re-signed, or will they sign a cheap option like Ravens free agent Pernell McPhee? Haven't really thought about per Pernell McPhee actually very much, but I think that makes some sense for, uh, for, the, uh, for the Cowboys and as a fit, as a cheap fit. I, well, I can't rule out Michael Bennett, but I would be kind of surprised if he came back to the Dallas Cowboys. It's not, it's not impossible, but I would bet no more than I would bet yes on that front. I am rocking, once again, a Kashiyama suit, and you can get one of your own by checking out Kashiyama1927.com. That is Kashiyama1927.com. You can create your own custom suit. You can explore all their options and get fitted for free, including their modern tailor line that includes washable, machine washable suits that don't need to be ironed. Yeah, it's awesome. Kashiyama1927.com. All right, Evan Hildering has an idea around the Dallas Cowboys. He says Fulton in round one, Winfield in the second, and Raquan Davis in the third. I'm on board with the first two. Raquan Davis in the third is fine. I'd rather have Lecky Fotua, who I think will also be there. I know that Raquan had that great sophomore year with like seven and a half, eight sacks. He hasn't been good since then. Like, I, I think I don't think that's a real outcome here in terms of in a, as a third round being a good fit for the Dallas Cowboys. So I I love the first two picks. I wouldn't hate Raekwon in the third. I just wonder if you could find a way to get a little bit better player in the end for the Dallas Cowboys in that third round as a particular option. So not the worst idea. I like the first rounds a lot, but I think it's good. All right, double dipping from John Sparks. That's what I do with this jar of peanut butter right out of it. Uh, with Gregory McCoy, Armstrong, Jackson, plus other studs on the D-line, isn't secondary the first priority? I mean, for starters, Dorrance Armstrong and Joe Jackson are not studs. And you cannot bank on Randy Gregory. I feel good about two and a half of my defensive line spots. feel great about Gerald McCoy. I feel great about... Demarcus Lawrence. If Gregory comes back, cool. Maybe that's an option. You can't bank on him, though. You have maybe Antoine Woods and Tristan Hill. You got literally three guys right now at defensive tackle. You got to find more bodies there. Dorrance Armstrong, Joe Jackson, you guys haven't done anything. So you can try to roll with those two, but it might not pay off in the end for you. So secondary is a priority, but at least I got bodies there right now. I still need a safety. I still need a, a number one corner, but I also do still need defensive line. You need all those things. That's why you're juggling that in the end. All right, Jair, any cornerback sleepers? They're going to be sleepers in the draft. Um, how about Troy Pride out of Notre Dame? I don't know where he goes, and I think the cornerback class in general isn't overly deep, but... I do think maybe someone like a Troy Pry could end up being a fit here. I think that could be a route that the Cowboys potentially pursue in the later rounds. And, ooh, here's a sleeper for you because of injury. Bryce Hall. I like him a lot. Now, he's not fast. It's okay. You can get by with that in the NFL. But he could be a day two, maybe even early day three fit for Dallas. Sign OBJ to the Cowboys. First off, not how it works. You have to trade for him. I don't really see the need to go trade for Odell Beckham. I've got Amari Cooper. I've got Michael Gallup. Do I want to bring in OBJ? If I'm playing Madden, yes. If I'm trying to juggle everything in terms of money, both short-term and long-term, I don't want to be paying two receivers over $16 million, especially when I want to re-sign Gallup in a couple years. It's kind of the, the long-term play that I'm, I'm viewing here. All right, Evan again. Should we try to trade for Brandon Cooks and what would be the cost? My answer is no. Not because I don't like Brandon Cooks, because I got to pay him and I got to give up a draft pick. 
Why would I throw the, the 14 million average of the next three years that Cooks has? It's not that bad of a value. It's not, but it's a little bit too pricey for my blood. That's an issue for me. So in terms of, of Evan, I, I like the question here. The other big issue for Brandon Cooks for, for me is concussions. He hasn't been healthy. Like, that's a huge issue for me. So I am passing on Brandon Cooks. I don't want the concussions. I don't want to pay him. I'll keep my draft pick and go cheaper at receiver if I can't get Emmanuel Sanders. All right, Saeed, a super chat says, trade back in the draft with the Jags, taking their 20th pick and 42nd overall pick and getting uh, McKinney, Aquara, and Noah Igbenogany. Well, I love the, the, the three players you picked. Uh, you take care of your safety need. You add another corner and an edge. The Jags aren't going to do that. That's way too much to give up in the end. Hey, Cowboys fans. Thanks for watching the Cowboys Report. If you haven't already, click right here to subscribe to our channel for all the best Cowboys coverage on the Internet. That's news, rumors, highlights, mailbags, film studies, and a whole lot more. And I'm making your lives a little bit easier as well with the next Cowboys Report video right here.